the rim. The counterpunch. What's the deal, man? It's your boy Love on the Hate Ones in the building. You got your boy EBTV Sports is in the building with me, man. Back with some more classics. Okay, we got an interesting topic we need to talk about, man. This whole Devin Haney versus Lomachenko fight. A lot of people out there got Devin Haney. A lot of people out there got Lomachenko. So, I told myself earlier I was going to make a video breaking this down. But then I was like, you know what? Let me just break it down with my partner, man. Let's really, you know, chop it down like a tree. So what's your thoughts on the EVT, man? I need I want to know your thoughts badly on this one, man. Man, let's see. Talk to your boy. And you already know, you know what I'm saying? And you talking about Lomachenko. Um You know what I you know what I feel about Lomachenko? Um yep. go back to my earlier podcast, uh, earlier calls. I don't want to predict it to you, my Lopez, to beat Lomachenko. You know, Lomachenko is a, is a good fighter, skill. I remember that, yep. You sure did predict that. Yes, yes, I did. And, and the, I remember the moment he won that fight, everybody was like, you know, oh, man, it's going to be easy cakewalk for Lomachenko. Yep. Some people were saying that. And I'm I'm just saying these aggressive fighters, these young aggressive fighters with size advantage, mm -hmm. Lomachenko can't do nothing with these people, man. I'm talking about he's strong, not willing to, you know, not scared to let their hands go, although he ain't got a big puncher. Mm -hmm. But not scared to let their hands go. Um, got the height advantage, can box. You know, Lomachenko, listen, for a while, you know, I've been saying this. He hadn't fought any real, and this is, you know, he's doing better, but for a while, he ain't really fought no guys besides maybe Linares that really, like, was on some dangerous, Young bull type, you know stuff. Now you know you he, he had, uh, you know Linares, um, Gary Russell. Come on now. Yeah, you might say Nicholas Walters or um, Gary Russell. Yeah, yeah, come on now. I'll do love yeah. like that. I mean, yeah, but these are like two people, and I'm saying like you talk, you talk like guys like you might say you know uh, Nicholas Walters was himself. Uh huh. Well, you know you. you you know, this is not to take anything away from Lomachenko, but when you just simply haven't fought these type of these kind of fighters, it's gonna show. Well, to be fair, I gotta dis I gotta um agree with you on that. Nicholas Waters was he wasn't the same Nicholas Waters to me. He was kinda at the end. It was still a good win for Lomachenko. And Nicholas Waters had a long time of inactivity too. But go ahead, keep going. Yeah, yeah, they're inactive, yeah. Um you know, maybe that would have played a factor, maybe it wouldn't have. We don't know. Um, but I you think know, Lomachenko would have still beat him, though. He probably would still won, yeah. yeah mm -hmm. But he, and, and you know, he, he fought, you know, guys like uh, Luke Campbell and everything. But like these dangerous fighters, um, and you know, he did well against Richard Palmer too. But these, these dangerous fighters, like these young bulls, I don't think he can. He gonna handle Devin Haney, man. And, and I'm oh. talking about Devin Haney's way too sharp for him. Way too sharp. Way too technically sound. He might, Devin Haney might not knock him out. Hell no, he ain't knocking out the Lomachenko. I don't see him making Devin Haney look silly in that ring. And that's what Lomachenko likes to do. I don't see him doing that at all. Not even. He ain't been knocking out Lomachenko, though. He ain't even going to make Devin Haney look silly. There ain't going to be no boxing masterclass. Devin Haney is going to have his way. I think Devin Haney going to control the ring. Uh, he can do that. Um, and, and, you know, Devin Haney, everybody, everybody talking, you know, uh, you know, about different fights happening. Devin Haney is the guy that's actually been fighting. Devin Haney's been making progress. You know, he sees, he beat, you know, uh, uh, excuse me. You know, he just, just beat, um, oh, Campos, George Campos? Yeah. Um, I twice. Think, yeah, twice. And it was in Australia. He's I'll give active, him that. Man. He's active. And I just don't see it's a little, little Lomachenko doing nothing, man. Well, you know, I'm not going to... just never hang too sharp. I ain't going to... Yeah. Keep going, though. I want... Because I'm a, I got to hit you with something. I don't think Haney dominating Lomachenko. Dominating? Yeah. Dominating? Wow. Dominating. Based on what? Based off 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 what? Based off
Oh, damn. I'm not just edging, but dominating. That's crazy. But you know what? I re- you already know how we do, man. You proved me wrong before. I'm not going to even lie. Maybe, T, we, you know, we can't always agree. But I'm, I'm not going to even lie, man. This is my thoughts on it. I agree with everything you said. That boy, Devin Haney. Now, I, I agree with everything you said to the, um, except for the Lomachenko part. The Devin Haney, that boy, he is the real deal. I do know Tyler what I see. Good, stiff jab. Um, I feel like, I don't feel like he's pillow fisted. I feel like he got the type of power that, you know, could keep you honest. Yes, a lot of speed, good conditioning. He don't never get tired. But he ain't never faced no Lomachenko, man. And in my personal opinion, Devin Haney will have to he will have to do something that we haven't seen yet to beat Lomachenko. I'm not saying maybe George Cambosis wasn't able to bring that out of him, but Lomachenko is a guy that he doesn't get tired. Um George Cambosis, keep in mind, George Cambosis arguably lost that fight to Mickey Bay. That was a close fight. Some people thought Mickey Bay won that fight, and that was a shot Mickey Bay. That lets me know that George Kambosis has problems with people that can box. So it wasn't shocking to me that he beat George Kambosis. That's why he was the favorite. Another thing is, too, he fought George Kambosis in Australia. That's why I really give him a lot of credit for that, because you yep. went across the pond and grabbed that title from off a man. You got to respect that from anybody. So I definitely respect that. Um, now, when it comes down to Lomachenko, oh, yeah, no, that's what I was going to say. about One more thing about George Kambosos. Keep in mind, yes, George Kambosos beat Theofimo, but I feel like that was more so because Theofimo tried to come out and just end George Kambosos' life that fight. Another thing is, too, if you really look at that fight, when George Kambosos, I mean, um, with, when um, Theofimo Lopez any time he showed flashes of boxing in that fight, he was giving George Kambosa some problems. But that's nor here nor there. Now, when we're talking about Devin Haney versus Lomachenko, man, I'm telling you, man, I just feel like Lomachenko, this man throws like 100 punches around, it seems like, man. Devin Haney has it. Unless Lomachenko get old overnight, he hasn't faced nobody that's throwing 100 punches over, I mean, around like that. And don't get tired. And what I tell people the most that impresses me about Lomachenko, he throws a whole bunch of jabs. And he throws a variation of jabs. Like he'll throw uppercut jabs, hook jabs, straight jabs. Um, He just throws jabs from all angles. He kind of reminds me, not nowhere near Manny Pacquiao as far as power is concerned, but the way he throws crisp jabs like that, Devin Haney is finally going to be in there with somebody that is the better jabber. When the last time had Devin Haney faced anybody that could jab better than him? You need to marinate on that. Another thing is, too, um, I don't see him stopping Lomachenko because Lomachenko don't have a bad chin. Richard Kami can stop Lomachenko. Devin Haney ain't hitting like no Richard Kami. I feel like Lomachenko do have a chin now. Maybe you could see, like, you know, one thing about Devin Haney, like I said, he's not pillow fisted and he can't mark you up. So maybe you can see accumulation of punches. And I guess you probably feel he can get a stoppage that way. Clarify that for me in a minute. But um, I'm not going to even lie to you, man. I've, as of this moment, unless Lomachenko, because he's no spring chicken. And I'm not going to sleep on a guy he's going to face this Saturday or next Saturday. I don't know. When it is, uh, I forgot, but he's finna fight the next two weeks against another undefeated guy. And in my mind, if I see my prediction can't change if Lomachenko slows down, but if Lomachenko looks anywhere near what he looked against, I would say I'm not gonna even go back to his prime days. Well, he, you can argue still in his prime, but I will say that Lomachenko that fought Linares. Matter of fact, I don't even have to say this because I got faith in Lomachenko because Lomachenko is not the type of person like he don't smoke, drink. Like he's not, he hasn't been in like major wars like that, you know? So I, I don't feel like, I feel like he's still has at least three to four years 
left in the tank before he slowed down drastically. Another thing I'm going to say is this, man. Um, Because I know a lot of people going to hate me for even picking Lomachenko because in their minds, I'm supposed to be a brother. I'm supposed to, you know, ride with Devin Haney. But you guys have to understand this. I could be rooting for Devin Haney, but that don't mean I'm going to pick him based off feelings. On my channel, I go off things logically. I don't make my predictions based off feelings. So I respect Devin Haney. I respect him for going across the pond and whooping George Cambosa's ass twice and dominating him. But I will say this, man. Until I see, I, in my opinion, I feel like Devin Haney still needs to show me some answers. Don't get it twisted. He might go in here and I'll box the shit out of Lomachenko, but he's not going to beat him how he's been beating these other fighters. So that's my thoughts on it, man. I feel like Lomachenko will beat him off the jab. I don't, I don't see him stopping Devin Haney, but I see him winning a, a good fight, like an 8-4 to four type of fight, maybe 7-5 type of fight. Again, I could be wrong, but that's just my thoughts. Talk to him. Any more? You know? there's, there's no way. Not, not, not no 8-4. to four. <laughs> I, I just think Devin Haney way too quick to be out, just to be like jabbed. Like some kind of masterclass by Lomachenko, and then we really need to figure out what Lomachenko is going to do against this this one dude, um, Ortiz. I think that's his yeah, last name. Ortiz, like, yeah, Ortiz. Yeah, undefeated cat. He, 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 that's an active guy. He's a I tough know. fighter. I mean, that dude ain't nothing to just play right. He, Lomachenko can mess around, not be if might talk about Devin Haney. I'm not going to even so, lie, bro. I'm kind of with you on that. That's why I even said that earlier. I'm like, man, Lomachenko, if he slip at any time. Because this dude, a lot of people look at him like he a pushover, like he's some type of walkover. But nah, this man, he ain't no 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 pushover like that, man. Like you say, he an active fighter, he's undefeated, and he really wants to beat Lomachenko. Now I got Lomachenko with his ass, of course, but you can't sleep on a hungry fighter. Hey, he kind of remind me of Tiafimo Lopez a little bit in style, just a little bit. He gives me similarities. I can um, see. But I can see that. Yeah, I mean, the, my problem with the, the whole Devin Haney thing and Lomachenko is that I feel like some people over us overestimate Lomachenko's abilities, and it's not a bad thing. But you got Devin Haney, this dude, he got the height advantage. He's not slow. He's slick. Very slick. Yeah. Lomachenko ain't just coming there and just jab it at will. And you gotta understand, Devin Haney, you know, he has a little crack to his punch. So he's yeah. about to control him this and Devin Haney gonna do that. Uh, oh, hold on, I feel hold like on, Devin Haney won't have a problem landing on Lomachenko. Wait a minute though. I gotta I gotta I gotta say this though, man. You said he's not gonna be able to land on Will, land at Will, right? But shit, Devin Haney not gonna be able to just land at Will. Lomachenko is extremely slippery now. Let's not act like Lomachenko ain't slippery out there. He can be. I saw that in the T F Lopez fight. You know, he, he was very he has a slick aspect. And you, um, and another thing is too, like you keep saying the speed, you got to understand. Lomachenko has arguably faced people faster than Devin Haney. But Gary Russell is very fast. Who's that? Gary Russell is I very heard. fast. Oh, yeah, Gary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, he's slick. But, good jab, too. I don't think you're. You know, that, that's true. Um, but you know, fast is fast, you know. Rika so down quick, like, too. Huh? Another person that got skilled, Regandell, he quick. Yeah, okay. All right. That's not, I mean, that's not funny, quick, bro. Yeah, he ain't quicker than Devin Haney, though. I ain't going to lie, but he ain't slow, though. He ain't slow, though. But, you know. Regandell, Regandell, Devin Haney beat Regandell 12, 12, 12, 12 You said he would beat him 12 Yeah, he'd he be a 12 on the score card against Regandell. But, you know, that's, but, that's hypothetical. Yeah. That's hypothetical. Huh? Oh, it is. It is hypothetical. I'm just saying. You know, hypothetical yeah. speaking, uh, that, that's what we will happen. Yeah, um, a problem. I, just, we I like, I like Devin Haney because of youth. No, I see what you said. Devin Haney, you know, he's extremely young. And like I said, I'm impressed the man got, he's undisputed at the age of 23. But I'm going to be honest right. with you, man. I don't even know if Devin Haney going to face Lomachenko. You talking about going to more forty? <laughs> Yeah, I, I really wouldn't be surprised if that happens. These guys they ain't really trying to fight these days. 
this is not the same. It's politics, money, all that type of stuff involved in it. They ain't, they ain't really hungry like that. Well, you know, we just gonna have to wait and see, man. You know, I, I like this yeah. little. You know, we started we started this one off hot. So you, you got some closing thoughts on it? No, nah, I got Devin Haney. Let's see, I got Devin Haney eight four. Okay, all right. I got Lomachenko eight to four. Hey, same, that's crazy. Same results, a different name. I can see a close yeah. fight too. Don't get it twisted, but I just. I, I must just stop it there because we 15 minutes in. I don't want this to be a, a super yeah. long one. Yeah. Right. 